What's going on guys? You're watching The Hungry Hand Gunner. I'm Nick and I've got something out here today that's pretty cool. Um, I've had it for a while and I haven't really, some of you already know what it is just by that stock there. Um, haven't done too much with it on the channel just because where I normally shoot is kind of child's play for this gun. So what we have is the FN SCAR 17S. So this is the semi-automatic civilian variant of the 17H. Very popular in video games for a lot of you and movies as well. Fires a 762 by 51 NATO round, which is comparable to a 308 Winchester, and it does so out of a 20 round detachable box magazine. If you live in a state like I do where they don't care about how much these things hold, um, I think 10 round mags are available. So let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit. It is a short action gas blowback design. Um, Recoil is not very bad due to that firing system. It definitely kicks more than an AR-15, but it's not terrible at all. Very manageable. It is a heavy gun. weighs in at about 8 pounds, naked and unloaded. So, obviously, I've got the EOTech and 3X magnifier up there. A little bit more than 8 pounds as is. And then when you throw in 20 rounds of 7.62 NATO, it does pick the weight up a little bit more. Um, got rail space for days. I don't know if there's much you can't put on one of these. Uh, the stock, the UGG boot on the gun, has a adjustable cheek comb there. It folds, which is nice. And it's adjustable for length of pull as well. It does come with some backup iron sights, which are eh. When you're shooting a rifle like this, um, it really does excel at some intermediate ranges. Nothing super close up, at least in my experience. Now, I love the gun. I wish that I could justify this being my bump in the night gun, but I just can't. Uh, <laughs> it is way overkill for stuff like that. But it is a lot of fun to shoot, and the reason I don't show it that much on the channel is simply because the ranges that I have at my home, um, it, it's just it's too close for this gun. Not to mention it does make a good bit of racket, and I do like staying on decent terms with my neighbors, so... Uh, this might be a little too much, although that would be a good argument for throwing a can on it. So, I think I've got it fairly sighted in with this optic system. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how it shoots, so nothing too crazy. The gun is way more accurate than I will ever be. So, with that being said, let's put a few rounds through it. Alright, so one thing I did want to talk about, and I'll show you a close-up, it does have a reciprocating charging handle. So, the way you hold this, uh, very important. But, we're just going to put a few rounds through it, like I said, just to kind of demonstrate how it shoots. And we'll go from there. All right, I actually knocked my steel down. So uh, let me go reset that and we'll see what's going on. So, walking up here towards my rigged up target system. It's a little bit worse than just knocking the steel down. Uh, I thought it fell over. I actually apparently hit that carriage bolt there that holds that piece on there. So, I'm going to be out of commission until I get by the hardware store. But yeah, there it is, guys. Yes, I'm out of breath because my table's all the way down there. So, there we go. Let's go back down and look at the rifle some more. Alright, so yeah, killed the target. Um, had a feeling that was coming. I had nicked that carriage bolt a couple times before. So, such things happen. But anyway, very unique rifle. Um, it is substantially different from an AR-15 in a lot of ways. Uh, I was talking about that reciprocating charging handle. Gun is empty. We'll go ahead and send that bolt forward. So, that little charging handle right there. Every time you shoot, it comes back. So I actually had a buddy, um, Justin, up shooting not too long ago. He brought his FN 509 Tactical that he'd done a bunch of work to. We had a good time with that, but he kept wanting to hold it right here at the magwell with that thumb up. The problem with that is that charging handle right there, that thumb is right in the path of that charging handle. Uh, can cause malfunctions, but a lot of times from what I've seen, rifle doesn't care. It just sends that charging handle right back in your thumb. I've seen some pretty bad bruising and stuff like that too from it. So something to watch out for. Now shortly prior to the target's demise, uh, I did step up the pace firing. This gun is absolutely something that you can fire off fairly quickly, even with it being 7.62 NATO. It, the bolt that moves, I'll try to show you guys on camera there, 
Um, this is a very large bolt, very heavy bolt, and it really does a good job of soaking up that recoil. Probably the biggest thing I see people hating on, so to speak, is the stock. Now, I guess it could be done better. It does look awfully like a UGG boot, so basic white girls probably get excited. Anyway, it's a workable stock. Uh, it is adjustable. It's got six length of pull settings that you can use. It does fold, got a little adjustable cheek comb. Um, not a whole lot of adjustment, but it, it is nice to have that included in there. Now, this rifle I have not shot uh, a whole lot. I've shot it often, but I haven't shot it a whole lot at one time. So, I'm not nearly as comfortable with this as I am my AR-15s. But it is a very fun rifle, a very capable rifle. Uh, you can make those those shots out to, I think the furthest we've had this one is about 700 yards with a different optic on it. And we were doing pretty good with it. So it's a very capable rifle, multi-purpose. You could use it for all sorts of things, uh, depending on your laws. You know, some people do use them for hunting. I'm not sure, I'm not really a big hunter, but definitely a fun gun, definitely an iconic gun for sure. So we'll do a more in-depth video when I'm out at a range where I can actually test the gun's capabilities out a little bit more on camera uh, after I fix my steel target. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. We're growing the channel. It's really awesome to see it growing, and I try to keep videos coming out at least once a week for you guys. Most of the time, it's more. So, I'm going to go back in the AC. This Georgia heat is pretty much soaked my shirt already, so take care, guys. Stay safe. Keep shooting. I'll see you next time.